Hello and welcome to Camera Reviews. Rocket Rockers uh, by Ken Pate. First of all, I have no idea where I got this book from. I've had it for years and it, I have honestly no idea. It found its way to me somehow. And I don't know a lot about Ken Pate at all. Um, I think the book, when I first saw it, it was black and white and it, it was quite ambiguous. It was, it actually didn't, I didn't even knew, know what it meant when I first got it, but I bought it and I under, then began to understand what the subject was, what the context was, but actually how rare this book is. And I actually can't find out much about Ken Pei at all. Um, in fact, maybe I think by some of the interviews I've seen, he doesn't shoot for, and he doesn't sh he shoots away from the internet. He's not interested in it. Don't quote me. Some other stuff I've deciphered in some interviews before um, I thought, oh, I'll show the Ken Pei book. I've, I've seen it's him sort of say, he, saying he shoots digital, but not away away from the internet. He doesn't want to sort of put them online and stuff. I may be wrong. Anyway, um, like it's got paint on it. I have no idea where I picked this up but I've got it and I like it and it is about 1975 the um, Rue de la Roquelle which please excuse me if I've got it wrong is a eastern part of Paris I think near the prison the Bastille and it is a street and it is where from I think I think even around, around the 50s where all the rockers and I think rockhead is the French term, I may be wrong. Um, anyway, the rockers used to gather, and I think Ken was shooting in, in, in around there, and he obviously was interested, and he, he decided to shoot this beautiful, um, beautiful portrayal. It's got a little damage on it. Um, I've seen this book, you can still buy this, I've seen it in, in different booksellers and stuff. It's quite expensive by the looks of it, it's a couple of hundred pounds, but See what you think. If you're intrigued by it, go and buy it. Um, okay. Actually, can pay it 19 in. It's got his, got an address on there. In French, obviously, because it's a French based book. Uh, Le Rock and Roll and Mi Maison du Ré. I'm my French, I'm a northern boy. My French is rubbish. So it's a beautiful um, little view of a rockers who are hanging around this street in France in 1975, in Paris in 1975. I'm just going to skim through it and let you have a look and make your mind up. I love this sort of stuff. I love that light. I remember when, when he's shooting this, he's shooting it in black and white and he won't have digital. Now you can see and adjust in the shooting. In the old days, it used to be adjusting at the po process. And if you've got, if you haven't got enough detail in the highlights, then you're never going to get anything. But you can use it to affect and, and get something which is abstract, which is good, or as good. Oh my God, how much does that guy look like Elvis Presley? Wow. Maybe it's just pure chance, the positioning of that, but it looks like, I thought it was Elvis. Quite spotty Elvis, but it looked like Elvis. There's a very dark, deep, there's a real deepness to this. Um, there's some of the blacks on here. I wonder what he was shooting with. It doesn't look that grainy either. I definitely think there's obviously flash. You can see the flash in the in the jackets. It's got quite an uncomfortableness about it. And it's interesting. I have to be careful how I'm turning the pages here because they are um, that's very fragile.
I wonder what you know, some of these people are, are doing now, if they're alive, you know, 25 then, 20, maybe in their 60s, 70s, so yeah, they could be still alive. It's an interesting subculture, so I think it's this time there was punk was happening, there was a lot of movements within youth at this period, especially in the UK and America, and, and, and I presume elsewhere in the world, and so it was a very interesting time for identity in, in, in that, in, in youth culture in general, and um, it, it was a sort of symbolic period, the 70s, in terms of um, subcultures in a way, I guess, with, with um, a massive sort of um, input of punk and um, towards a new wave and, and stuff like that. I'll be very flippant, it's not, you know, I'm not going to talk about the music. Um, that would be a save that for another day, but yeah. I'm going to pull that out. So, I guess that's the leather work on the jacket. So, Ken Payne, rockers, eight and a half. That's definitely square. It's about, oh gosh, there's no page number. I'd say 30, 40 pages. Um, yeah, 40, 50 pages. I'll put a link on so you can have a look. You can buy it. Uh, there's a bit about them. Not much about campaign. If you do find anything, put it in the comments. Let me have a look. I'd be really intrigued to find out more about campaign. If anybody can point me in the right direction, please do it. Please subscribe. Thank you.